Hello, my lovelies. So, yeah, I don't even know how to start this video. Um, welcome to my channel if you haven't been here before. I usually don't look as ratchet as I look right now, but I've been, I'm in a funk. I've been in a funk now for about four days, and I don't know why. I don't know whether it's everything that is going on in the world right now, but I have been in a massive funk. I have not worn makeup since my last video last week, and I picked my face majorly. I should know better than that. It's like, mm, you know, I should know better, and I've talked about that before. When I have bad nerves, I pick, and I should really know better, and I just can't stop. If I just put some foundation on, I wouldn't do that, but I just did. And this morning I start picking again. I'm like, you know what, girl? Just pick your freaking self up. Put some makeup on and get on a video and talk to your friends because you guys are my friends. I might not know every one of you personally. Some of you I do. And I've got to know some of you and you guys have become my friends. So I have a lot of things sitting in front of me that I've had for a few days. And usually, you know me, when I get something, I want to like get it out of the box and use it. And I haven't. And that's the funk that I've been in. They've been sitting here like in a box. I haven't even taken them out of the box. And that's the kind of funk I'm in. And I've just always been a very impatient person. When I get something, I'm like, I got I get it. I got to get it out. I had some tart powder and I just took it out of the box. And I've never used their, their powder before. I used my tart foundation today and I used my tart um, primer today. And I got a new concealer that I'm going to talk about that I used today. So yeah, let's just get into it. So. We all know of the devastation the world is facing right now. My town became the hotspot for the state last week. They've enacted some different um, shutdowns that's supposed to be happening. And so far in my little town, people have really cared. They haven't been paying attention. So it's been a shit show. And I hope they stop. I hope they stop doing that. So hopefully somebody will listen and things will get better. But, you know, until things get bad, things don't get better. Just kind of like in, in, regular, in regular times. You know, people don't get better until they've hit rock bottom. So I think in, until things really hit rock bottom, things aren't going to get better, to be honest with you. So it's a sad time. It really is. And I think, you know, me being glued to CNN doesn't help, but I'm addicted to CNN. And, you know, I, I get to where, like, when I found out I had cancer, I just, like, delved into it. Like, I had to know every little thing there was to know. But that helps me because when I get involved in things, it helps me to focus on that thing in a good way. If that makes any sense it like helps me to deal with it because I get, I get focused on it and then I just I forget about not that I forget about it I don't know how to explain it it's like I get to where I understand it more but sometimes with with the cancer it was good because I, I learned things and I, I was able I was better equipped to know what was going on with this I'm learning too much so I need to kind of step back and step away and that's what I've done today. I turned it on this morning just for a few minutes while I got ready as far as washing my face. And I haven't turned it on since because I need to kind of step back. So I'm getting on here instead. So I got my mail today and I got this box. And one of my favorite YouTubers, I have two favorite YouTubers. I have Paige Corin and Allie Dawson. They're my absolute favorites. I have some other favorites I love like Samantha March and Raw Beauty Christie and... James Charles. I love James Charles. I know there's a lot of controversy about James Charles, but I do like him. I don't watch him as much as I used to, though. Um, I just watch a few here and there. I just, he just reminds me of my son. He looks a lot like him, so that's why I, there's like that little, you know, connection there. Um, but I don't watch his videos the way I used to. Um, but Paige Corin was the first one that I really became, I have to watch every single one of her videos, and I found her like a year ago, I guess, and then I found Allie, from looking for ColourPop, and then I found out they were friends. So, but I watched every soon as soon as they upload, I'm like, I gotta watch it, just gotta watch it, gotta watch it, gotta watch it. Um, and let's see who else do I watch all the time. I watch a lot of Ali Gines, and um, I just start following some other ones too. And I watch, um, um, I'm trying to think of some bigger YouTubers that I watch. I can't think of like. I can't think of all their names. There's just like so many of them. And then I watch Just Jessica. She's a smaller YouTube like me, YouTuber like me. And then um, Look Up Lashes. I watch her. She's a smaller YouTuber like me. These are actually bigger than me though, but still. And then Just Nina. There's some other ones I just watch. So anyway, what I have down here is some, one of them is from a YouTuber. And then what I have over here is what I found in my mailbox. And I want to, I want to get down here and get it. I'll show you. 
all of this was from Allie. Allie sent this to me today. Look, it's all of this. I was so excited. I had no idea that she was going to send all this to me. And I'm just like over the moon, over the roof, over the sun, over the stars, happy. There's all kinds of good stuff in here. And there's a couple things that I have that I'm going to be giving back to you guys. And I know she won't mind um, because that's what she does. You know, she gets them and if she already has them, she sends them back to other people. But she put a really nice card in here. Um, thanking me for supporting her and that just I love cards cards to me are like windows of the soul you know I just love cards cards are very special to me and um, she sent me like there's a there's actually eyeliner in here that I want to try so I'm gonna put that out and there is some face mask and I, I love eye masks there's an eye mask in here and lip liner from Hulse Laboratories I might, I might try that one um, and some brushes and there's all kinds of stuff in here. So I might use some of those products. I'm not, no, but they're today, I'm not sure, but there's some other stuff in here that I can't wait to try. There's stuff in here that she got in her, this is an, actually, this is actually an Epsi bag right here. Um, and this stuff, I don't have any of the stuff that, like that she got, like there's some body butter in here. Anyway, there's a bunch of stuff in here. So she sent all that to me and I was just like over the moon because I was not expecting that. So Allie, I love you. I know you're not watching my videos, but if you do just happen to, to watch one, thank you so, so much. That means the world to me. So getting on to this, first I'm going to throw a little disclaimer out. Um, times are tough, so I don't expect you guys to go out and buy any makeup. So I'm not pushing the sales of makeup. I'm not pushing for you to go out and buy skincare, makeup, or anything that's not a necessity right now because, you know, necessities are very important and they're more important than any of the stuff that I, that I show you. This is just therapy for me. I have retail therapy disease. I do. Part of my bipolar disorder is the manic side where I have to buy, buy, buy. And I've gotten better, but a lot of the stuff I ordered before all this stuff hit and I'm just finally now like getting it, except for this thing on top that I'm going to talk about. Um, and I said I was going to slow down and I have. I've gotten a lot better. I'm not ordering as much. I do have some couple of extra subscription boxes that I added in to try one time to see whether I like them. Um, and then we'll go from there to see because a couple of them, eh, you know, they're, they're delayed because of the, the shipments and stuff like that. So I'm not sure whether or not I'll be getting them, you know, this month as scheduled. So we'll see about that. Um, but I just want to throw that disclaimer out that I'm not trying to push buying makeup on you by any means. I will link things below in case you guys, you know, you know, still want to buy things. But I don't want to, to push that on you because I really don't think that anybody should be jumping on a bandwagon to buy makeup and things like that if, if they can't so just don't don't think that's what I'm doing this is just therapy for me to, to put on makeup and and to share this with you because we all need a break and this this is kind of like my break so just want to kind of throw that out there at you I'm gonna put my glasses on because I need to to see what I'm doing and let's just talk about my hair for a minute yeah um my hair it's only been three weeks since I got it cut and it's it's already going on strike I think it's it's like, um, it's telling me my future. I wish it would tell me like lottery numbers or something, but yeah. I wonder what's happened with the lottery. Are they still doing lottery? I haven't heard a thing about the lottery. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, um, so my hair decided it's going to take a crap on my head. And I actually pulled out a curling thing today. You know, one of those little things that you, that you do with your hair that it heats up. You know, one of them things that I haven't had out and... Hmm. Four years, something like that. So I was terrified I was going to burn my hands. I really didn't know what the hell I was doing with it. But girl, let me tell you, <laughs> this hair in a month, I mean, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be freaking interesting. All right. So the concealer I use today is by Clove Hollow. And I don't know, I've never heard of the brand before. I get um, some products from. Grove Collaborative. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of them or not. Um, I will link them below. Um, and it's actually, they sell a lot of products that are supposedly good for the good for the, the earth and things like that. I have heard some of their products are greenwashed, so I'm not sure if they are. So I'm not going to like say the brand names that I've heard are because I don't, I don't ditz any brands. If you guys have watched me long enough, you would know that I don't call out brands because other people say they're bad or because I've heard this and that and this and that. If I don't research it or use it myself, then I don't tell you. 
things like that. I tell you what I think, um, how things are based on how I feel about them personally. And I tell you, this is how I feel, but you might not feel the same way. Like for instance, sense. Um, just because I don't like a scent of something don't mean you're not gonna like the scent of something. That's all a personal thing. The way that products work on me might not work the same on you. It's all personal things. Just like, you know, makeup's all personal. I might hate a look, you guys might love it. I might love a look, you guys might hate it. This is all personal preference. So this is actually color number 02. It's supposed to be creaseless. So far I've used it just here, here. I have not darned my eyes yet because I'm not sure how these other products are gonna work on, you know, on that. Um, so far, it seems to be okay. It, it worked really well with my, with my tart, and this tart is actually 15 n. If you're wondering, it's the rainforest of the sea, and it's the 15 n. 15 n. And I do have a coupon code for tart. Um, it, it expires June 15th, and it's for 15 percent off. And it's the code beautiful. So if you guys get anything from tart um, directly, that's a code that you can use. And then the, the powder is filtered light setting powder, rainforest of the sea. Never tried it before, so I'm trying it today, and so far I like it, but I haven't used Ernie the Eyes yet. Okay, product number one is a PR product, and it's a PR that I paid for, not a PR I've got because I'm not that special yet. I'm not that special where anybody knows who the freak I am to give me PR. So, until then, I have to pay for it. This is a PR kit by one of the YouTubers that I just recently started following. Her name is Samantha March, so you guys want to go check her out. She's great. She really is. Um, Samantha has really bad skin, but she gets on there and makes herself just as beautiful as you and I are. So, you know, she doesn't really care, and I like that about her. So, she teamed up with Ofra, and if you guys have seen my videos before, you know I have a love-hate relationship with Ofra. Because I despised their foundation and did not work for my skin at all. It may work for you guys, but the color that I picked out was horrendous on my skin. And the formula, the color, the, the, the uh, smell, everything was horrendous on my skin. But their highlighters, I freaking love. Love, 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 love. I have um, their highlighter I keep here that I love to no end is the Pillow Talk, which is in the middle here. This is actually one of the, the packs I got. And this is absolutely gorgeous. And these are refillable. They actually pop out and you can refill them. Um, and the Nikki Tutorials colors I love. So I do really like them um, for their highlighters. Their lip gloss I got from them one time I didn't particularly care for. Um, and their eye palette was okay too. I got that. It's in another video, but I like that. But this is the Samantha March Ofra Collection. So this is what the box looks like. And as you can tell by the pictures, there's quite a few things in there. So this is what she looks like. This is Samantha. So this is her. And I'm going to read this to you real quick. It says, this book wrote itself. We began with a highlighter and by the end we had a friend. Meet Samantha March, beauty vlogger and author who is everything that Ofra is about. You've probably heard that before. Once you know her, you'll see it's true. Samantha is a beauty enthusiast with a genuine spirit that has a connect, built a connection with her audience just by being herself. Her much love highlighter for our project influencer collab gave this book the perfect beginning and we want to finish the story. This collection reinvents the classics but don't judge a book by its cover. Each new item is a duo with a matte and a shimmer to create, create it to suit many skin tones, whether you love to be in the spotlight or carve out your niche. Niche. Did we hook you? Keep reading. There's more to this story. So yeah, she's great. So anyway, um, you can buy these singly or you could when I got this. This this was actually $129 and I used the coupon code Samantha and brought it down to $103.20. So each one of these products come out. So let me take them out and I'll show you what's in them. And I, like I said, I haven't tried any of these yet. Um, and this box doesn't, you know, there's nothing else in the box. The back does show you about each one. Um, we have Star Inspired, which it says, let's see, let me find out which one that one is. Oops. It would help if I don't drop it because I don't want to break it. Let's see, which one is this one? This is... There it is, Star Inspired. Okay, this is the highlighter. It says, this highlighter started it all. Influencer Samantha March curated her fav two favorite highlighters, Star Island, Ireland, Island, which is a warm ivory, and Pillow Talk, which is my favorite one, which is soft pearl pink, to create this glow full swirl that can spark any look into the next level lit. I never liked pink highlighter until, until this one. Oh, look at that. Okay, this is two of them swirled together. So these are just gorgeous. 
and I will show you what they look like. And I also have um, an Ofer that came in my Allure box because it was the first time I ever got one of their boxes. And I did get, um, was it Allure? I might be wrong on that. Was it Allure? Or was it? I think it was Allure. It was one of the boxes I got. But anyway, I'll sort this together and show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like. That's pretty. That's pretty. But their highlighters are amazing. And you'll see when I use it. I might not show it up on there very well, but you'll see. You'll see when I put it on. Okay. And then we have um click it. Or is it chick it? Chicklet. Okay, chicklet. It says you don't have to be you don't have to be a cheek to be lit in this blush duo. This liquid to base, liquid to baked blush pairing will be a breeze to get through with one shimmer side, warm deep rose, and one matte pink nude. Smooth on this buttery, long wearing formula onto the apples of the cheeks or a highlight to show off an effortless natural blush. Blush, sorry. And this is what it looks like. Very pretty. We all know I like a good pink. So we'll see. I've never used their blushes before or their bronzers or anything like that. So I don't know um, how this is going to work on me. We'll find out. Um, Royal Beauty Chris, Christy, I think it was, that did this. Somebody somebody reviewed this. No, Chrissy. T Chrissy. Chrissy. Yeah, Chrissy. Um, I just started following her. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, Chrissy. I forgot your last name. <gasps> I just started following Chrissy. And she's amazing. Oh my gosh. She's great. She's great. She's great. She's great. But she's also got me addicted to other box subscriptions. <laughs> this next one is a bronzer duo. And it's called River. It says, um, preface your glow. This sunny duo adds warmth, depth, and accentuates your best assets. Made with love and care by Samantha, this liquid to bake bronzer pair adds radiance with a shimmer side warm copper bronze and depth with a matte light neutral mocha. Have this super pigment payoff and non cakey glow of our highlighters with this lightweight and care, easy to blend. I work out the word care from easy to blend powder as dimensions to your face. And that's what that looks like. Bronzers and I have a love hate relationship because I do have some issues with them um, not being the right shades for my face. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. I just have a lot of problems with them I'm not working well on my skin tones. Let me see if anything has any smells. Ofra's made in Florida. So far, no smells. They do make skincare, which I have not tried yet. Okay, and then we have um, Millie and Story. These are actually two lip colors. It says, every every love story should start with a meat, with meat cute between, meat cute? Anyway, with a meat cute between this perfect lip duo. Story, a mocha nude mauve, is an all-time holy grail classic nude with a hint of depth, warmth, cool tones, cool tones that outlast the rest. Want to make your lips a lit erate, literate, oh, liter, I get it, okay, literate as your cheekbones. Put on this pearl, ever, iridescent shimmer that won't dry you out. Millie named after Samantha's grandma, who loves pearls on bare lips or as a topper over any lippy for maximum shine, and these are the two colors. So, I mean, that's right up my alley, so we'll see. But yeah, um, we'll see how this goes. And this video might be a little longer, just to let you know, because we're already 18 minutes. Um, because, you know, I'm just kind of in a funk and I'm a little slow getting going. The other thing I got is a brand I've never tried before, and it's called Winky Lux. I found this through Allie. Um, I saw that she had some. It's kind of comparable to ColourPop, but it is a little bit more pricey. It took me a while to get this box, and it came from New York, so I was a little, to be honest with you, um, I don't want to be a very prejudiced person, but with everything going on, it was a little iffy. I sprayed it with Lysol. I spray every box that comes in. I do spray with Lysol. Today I got um, a birch box, and I got one of my Ipsy bags. I'm waiting for the next Ipsy bag to come, and then I'm going to do like a battle of boxes. So when that comes in, I did already take my bag out from the package it came in. That way I could just get it out of that package. Um, and the birch box, I'm probably going to do the same thing with. But I spray everything down with Lysol really well and leave it sit before I actually take it out of the package. And I did that with, with my Winky Lux. Um, I took it, I sprayed it really good before I even touched it and let it sit. And I've already unsealed it, but I just haven't taken everything out yet. Um, but because I wanted to show you, I did open it, but I wanted to show you how pretty the box is. 
so I didn't throw that away because I just wanted to show you guys how pretty the box was. But it did take me a while to get it. I ordered it, um, I ordered it like two weeks ago when I just got it. But for instance, um, I did send a couple of gift with purchases. So I want to show you that too. And the whole box is just gorgeous, like all the way through. It's just a beautiful box. And I do keep a lot of my boxes to send you guys stuff. So, and don't forget, I'll tag it up here. Um, my giveaway ends for my subscriber appreciation does end on the 15th. And that's as of right now, that may change, you know, if things change as far as um, the way shipment works or anything like that. And I will, in that video, if things do change, I will pin it to the top comments if any of those dates change, just to let you know. So for a free gift, they did send, okay, they sent this little bag. Isn't it cute? Oh, I love little bags. I just do, and look at the inside. Isn't that this darling? I do, I love little bags. So they sent that and it's really, it's a velour bag. It's a velour kitty bag. And they sent one of their disco kitten gloss. And this is what the package looks like. I think it's a really pretty little package. I love the way it's packaged. And then um, everything's really pretty. And then they sent, yeah, they sent that for free. And then I think I had a coupon. I did. I had, it's called Welcome 15 for $11.40 off. So it's Winky Lux, W-I-N-K-Y, Lux, L-U-X. And it's Welcome 15 is the code. And this is the gloss, the glitter gloss. Never tried anything like this. And since I do have the other, the Ofra, I'm not really sure which one I'll use, but let's just see what it looks like on the skin. It's weird, it comes out pink. It does, it's not pink. Why would it come out pink and not be pink? That's weird, anyway. Um, not much happening here, I'm gonna put it on my, okay, third dip. That's weird, because it's not pink. Okay, that's weird. It's not pink, but it's like coming out pink. If you guys have tried this before, let me know if it's supposed to be pink, because, it's pink, but it's not pink in the container. It's, that's weird. It's almost like, as weird as this may sound, but it's almost like it was used. I don't know if it's supposed to be pink or not. Isn't that weird? Look at that. It's like, you can actually see the green, like in here on it, and the green on the tip, but it's pink. That's weird. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure what the color is called either. Um, groovy is what it's called. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. And then I got this color. This is actually, um, a it's actually a lip. You know, I like my liquid lips, but I just thought, let me try something different. So this is actually, it's called Pippi. And this is actually the package, which is also very pretty. I like their packaging. It's really pretty. And this was, um, let's see how much Pippi was. Pippi was... Fifteen dollars, and it's a cute little pill. I think that's what they call them anyway. It's a really pretty color. I like that. And I got this lip plumper, another pretty package. I mean, their packaging is gorgeous. That's probably what what you're paying for. This is eighteen dollars. Very spring looking. Did I just put that on my nose? And I see I don't have a nose ring in. I took it out to wash my face this morning because I hadn't taken it out for like three weeks and I forgot to put one back in. And this is the lip plumper. And it's just, you know, like a, like a clearish pinkish gloss. And this is what it looks like in the component. Just simple. Simple but cute. You can't really see. Let me close it up so I can show you. It's got little gold things on the the package so that's that and then I got mascara because you know I'm always trying to find a good mascara I don't know if anything's will compare compared to my by Terry to be honest with you but um, it's called so extra and it says 94% saw extreme lip lengthening 100% saw instant and buildable volume 95% saw visible lift and 96% had zero flaking and this is what the package looks like it reminds me of um, physicians formula packaging and then let's see what the package looks like. This looks like a tart packaging. Okay, I'll go try it. And that's what it looks like. <laughs> I don't know why I put that so close to my nose. 
but I did. I wanted to see what it smelled like. It didn't have a smell, so it's good. Okay, throw that away. And then this is a palette. It's kind of a neutral for you guys that's been asking for neutrals. I'm going to do a neutral look for you. And it is called Pokey Palette. They didn't have a whole lot of palettes, so I just wanted to see. Um, and you can hashtag it's a winky world. It's very pretty. It doesn't look like it has a press glitter, I do believe. It says, my favorite looks can be created with the... Oh, okay. So it's Pokimane. That's, it's her. It's, it's, it's a collab. It says, my favorite looks can be created with these shadows named after my favorite things. I partnered with Winky Lux to create this palette that celebrates my amazing fans and our memories together. Here's to love, laughter, beauty, and friendships. Love you to the moon and back. Pokimane. I don't know who that is because I don't... I'm sorry. You guys may, but this is her. Do you recognize her? I'm sorry. I don't know who she is. Um, let's see. It says nine eyeshadows, but this one looks like a press palette, a press glitter, but it may not be, but they are really pretty. I am going to see. Uh, yep. It doesn't say it's a press glitter, but it's a press glitter. That won't be one on me today. I have a hate, hate relationship with press glitters. They just, and they don't, it doesn't look how it's, yeah, that doesn't, um, yeah, doesn't, doesn't work at well at all. So yeah, I won't be using that. That doesn't. I'm going to go ahead and swatch all these for you. That's, it's Glisten Glaze Donut Wifey. Lovely Lilac Pink Pixels, which is the one I just did. Armor, Moroccan Sand, Hustle, and Hottie Toffee. So I'm just going to just do each one of them. Um, hard for me to do anything. I'll just do them back in my hand because it's hard for me to do it on my arm. Okay, that first shimmer did well. The matte, I'm, I'm dipped in three times. It didn't do well. It's, okay, everything else is doing okay so far. Okay, this is the first two rows. And that's what they look like. This one here was a little difficult to put on. I had to do like a couple dips, and this one here you can barely see. You can see it, but I mean, it just took a little bit. But the rest of them swatch really nice. And then the last row, we have that one matte. It's okay. And the green. Greens um, might take a few times if you use that green to get it to go on. And then that brown, the hotty toffee. That's what they look like. It's okay. Um, a little patchy. But, you know, when you do it on your skin compared to what it goes on with your eyes with um, primer, it's always totally different. Okay, now I'm going to stop the camera and then I'm going to come back and start again as I wash this off because my timing's getting a little close there on my camera anyway. So I'm going to go wash this off and I shall return. Okay, my lovelies, I am back. So what I've decided to do is I am going to... Start putting the makeup on, um, tell you how it feels on my eyes, and then I'm going to like fast forward because the video is going to be too long. So that's what I'm going to do. So I've already primed my eyes with my P. Louise base. So I'm just going to go in and I'm going to just, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to put this on my, um, like right here. So we'll see how it goes on. I had a time with my eyebrows today too. They just did not work, want to work. They just kept... Like the pencil kept scooting across my eyebrows, and I didn't I didn't put as much arch in because that's just the kind of mood I'm in. You know, I don't have to draw my eyebrows completely on because I don't have any eyebrow hairs, and I just did not want to go on today at all. I just yeah, it's not. Yeah, I'm just in a big funk, and I apologize for that. I know I'm not as chipper as I usually am, um, but I wanted to get on here and, and show you guys, you know, that I'm not always going to be chipper. I'm not always going to be happy-go-lucky Jenny. You guys all have made comments about how, you know, I'm, I'm very up and love my personality. I just want to show you it's not always that way. I'm not always like that. Okay, this is going on really nice. This is definitely reminiscent of like ColourPop, but $20 for the palette is a little much. If I wouldn't have the coupon, I would not have paid that. Nothing against no, nothing against the brand, um, and this is a very soft. It kind of presses in, 
and I'll show you what I mean. If you can see me pr pressing in, it's very pressable. Um, do nothing against the brand. I just think that maybe 15 would have been a better price point for this. And I think a lot of it is just the way that the packaging is. It's a cardboard package, but it does have a mirror. ColourPops does not have a ColourPop doesn't have a mirror in theirs. Um, and it's a good mirror as far as it's not one of them weird, you know, like funhouse type mirrors. Okay, it's laying down okay. Um, and Allie gave me some brushes. You know what? Instead of I always use my bling brushes. You know that. But she gave me. She gave me some brushes. She gave me this Moda Studios, and I've never used these before. And there's a bunch in here. And then she also gave me these these brushes here that look they look a lot like bling brushes, but obviously they're not. Looks like they're trying to copy bling brushes. Um. So some of these might go in a giveaway, actually, to be honest, because I really like my bling brushes. So I'm not sure. So I might give you these guys. They're kind of like a bling. They're they're like a they're like a uh, you know if you haven't seen my bling, these are my blings, my bling brushes, and these are like like they're like a wannabe. You can tell they're not like these are hand laid and these aren't. You can tell. Um, I don't know anything about this brand. There's no brand name on it, so I'm not really sure. Um, they feel soft. They feel good. They're just not as like dense as my bling brushes are. So I'm not sure how they would work for putting makeup on. This brush is nice. I'm sure that came with that Ipsy bag because it looks just like the Ipsy bag. That's a nice one. I think I'll keep that one because um, I do need some more contour brushes. So I'm going to keep that one. Um, and then these other ones. I have heard of this brand before. And for a while there I was getting brushes and I gave them all away because I really like, you know, like my blings. So I decided to start trying other brands as well. I did order another brand. I'm not going to tell you about it yet because I have to wait till it comes. Because it's coming from China, so it might be a while. Let me see what this brand feels like. That's not bad. That's not bad. I just hate, like, I want to be able to give so much to you guys. And I feel guilty when I have, like, I have, my belly's growing. Because <laughs> I have so much other things and then I feel like I'm hoarding it like if I have these things and I feel like I'm not giving them to you and I feel like I feel bad for keeping things even though you know, this stuff was given to me and I feel like I should keep it because it was given to me but that like the other part of me is like I feel like I should share with you guys because I have brushes and I feel like if I don't share them then I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do and I feel bad for not giving back to you all so it's like you know I just want to give you guys so much and I feel like I'm being selfish if I don't. So I feel selfish if I keep things. Is that, you know, does that make sense to you all? I just hate feeling, I hate feeling selfish. I feel like, ooh, I like these. I want to try these. But then the other part of me is like, Jenny, you're being selfish. You know, you should share. You shouldn't keep all this for yourself when you have other things. You know what I mean? So it's like, part of me just wants to put them back in the box and do a giveaway with them. Then the other part of me wants to try them. So I'm having trouble. I'm, I'm really struggling. Can you tell them how I'm struggling with this? I really don't know what to do. And I'm, like I'm shaking my leg here. If you things, if you see things moving, because I really don't know. I don't know if I want to share. I don't, I don't know. Because I know I ordered brushes, and it's a brand that I want to try. I got brushes and sponges coming, because I want to do like I'm going to do a comparison to this brand that I ordered to my Juno, because they're in the same level as Juno. So I know I'm going to be trying them because I'm going to try them with you know. So I know I'll be keeping those. So it's just a matter of whether I want it. Oh, this is so hard. This is so hard. Okay. I'm going to leave this up to you guys. So, these brushes. You guys want these brushes? Or do you want me to keep them? I'm going to leave it to you guys. I'm not even going to try these. This is going to be for you to decide. I want you guys to decide. Do you like these brushes? Okay. There you go. I want you to tell me. I want you to tell me if you want them. But I think I'll try these. This, this package brush. I think I'll try these. 
Um, that way I can let people know what this brand's like. Since I know what this brand is, that way I can say, yeah, this brand's good, or yeah, this brand's not so good. Um, but yeah. I'll try some of these. Um, but those, I'm going to let you decide. I want you to comment below whether you think you would like those brushes or not. And then we'll decide from there. All right, and we'll try a second color. Now see, this color here, when I did it on my hand, did not do well on my hand, but it's doing very well on my eyes. And I'm going to bring you in and you can see what I mean. All right, you see how well it's laying on the eye? It's laying very well on the eye. And this brush is actually really good, this Modier. It's helping it lay in really nice. Colors blending out really nice. So yeah, let me back up again because I don't want to be like in your face with my hair. Because you know, I bend down and look at my mirror here. Let me sit up a little bit. I need to learn to sit up better and posture needs to be better. Yeah, that's really nice. It blends out really nice. It's like a coral tone, almost like a coralish pink. Kind of like my shirt, which is like an orangey, like an orangey coralish pink. Yeah, that lays really nice. I don't know how many fall out. A little kick up in the pan, not too bad. Um, and then I got this other brush from um, either BoxyCharm or Ipsy, something like that. I like it too. Um... I don't know what other color I want to try in this. I think I want to try this color down here at the bottom. This kind of pukey color. I don't know how else to explain it to be honest. It looks pinky, but it's not. It's more like a pukey brown. But I think I want to... I think I want to try that one. I just want to kind of try that. Just to kind of warm up the outside edges and the top here. No reason why. I just want to... Just wanna. It's also laying very well. All right, I'm just kind of laying some colors on right now, and then I'll go back and fix it after I do this. I just wanted to kind of just kind of lay some colors in there before I actually put colors in. Does that make sense? Because I wanted to see how they laid before I fast forward. And then I'm going to grab one of my one of my other brushes here to do my corner. I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to lay this color right here. I'm going to lay that in my outer corner. And then I'll fast forward. Okay, I'm gonna finish. Now I am getting fallout with this one. Okay. I'm gonna do this and then I'll fast forward and then I'll come back and talk. Um last few days and I haven't worn makeup the last few days you know it's just I'm, I don't know if you can tell I'm dragging I really am I'm just dragging I'm just kind of going through the motions and I apologize this video wasn't intended to to be like that I just kind of wanted to get on here and talk to you guys and I've, I've decided just to go ahead and show you some new makeup while I was at it um so I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. This video is not better than what it is. Um, you know, I was really hoping for at least to show you the products a little better than what I'm doing. So I apologize for that. And, you know, part of me is like, and I've said it in other videos, 
I probably shouldn't upload and I got a pimple right there of all places. Um, I mean, maybe I shouldn't upload this video because you know, I look, I look a little horrendous. Maybe I should skip it and not upload it, but you know what? I've got to show you all of me. I've got to show everything good, bad, ugly, pretty, love the video, hate the video, whatever it might be, because I want you guys to see every part of me. You guys have seen me without makeup. You guys have seen my pictures of me picking my face on YouTube, on uh, Instagram, if you follow me over there, which if you want to win any giveaways, you have to follow me over there, um, if you have Instagram. So, I mean, if I don't show this part of me, then you don't see me. And part of my journey with my mental illness and social anxiety disorder and everything else that I have going on is this, is me. And I want to share me, you know? I want to, to show you guys that, you know, my life's not always peachy keen and I'm not always delightful to be around. Sometimes I can be a Debbie Downer. You know, I can be not so much fun. I've had people avoid me because, you know, they'll, they'll message me and they'll say, hey, how you doing? And I'll just go into, well, I'm not doing too great today. I've had a bad day. And they just stop messaging me. Like, that the message, oh, okay, well, you know, they'll, they'll like say a few things and then, well, I gotta go, you know, I've got some things I need to take care of. And that's their way of saying, you know, look, we, you know, you're having a down day, you're being Debbie Downer, we don't want to be, we don't want to be down because of you. And I'm, I'm not stupid, I know that's what they're doing, you know, and I feel bad because a lot of times I'll complain and I'll bitch and I'll moan and, you know, they don't need that. They don't need to hear that, just like you guys don't need to be hearing me do it. But if you know what? I want you guys to see that that part of me and I got a piece of glitter from my finger that I had on my finger and it now it's right my eye. Um, but I want you guys to to know that that's part of me. That I'm not always congenial. I'm not always gonna be uplifting that some days I'm going to have a piece of freaking glitter on my eye that I can't get off. Yeah, so some days I might not be full of glitter and gold. Some days I'm going to be full of coal. Um, I just, yeah, that's just the way it is. Um, and then I have this thing here that I filled up again that says that the other day when I did my Juvia's Place video I showed you guys um, that one pimple patch thing I did actually pulled out some of the cyst. Well, it filled back up again yesterday. So I don't know what the heck it is. I need to go to the dermatologist and have them just cut it open and drain it. But, you know, with everything going on, definitely don't want to be doing that right now. If I had a scalpel, I would do it myself because I'm gross like that. And I really don't care. I would definitely do it. And I've got a piece of glitter here. You know, it must have been in that in one of those other colors. I must have tapped it or something because now I've got it everywhere. Anyway, um, I wish I had a little scalpel that I could just cut that open to get it drained out because I would just do it and I wouldn't care. I would just be like, bam, let's do that. And I would just do it. All right, let's see how this tart works underneath the eyes. It smells good. One thing I don't like about it is it's kind of like a color, but they didn't have like a color to choose from. It was just, this is the color, this is what it is. Okay. It's okay, I mean, you know, I have under eyes that wrinkle. What can I say, right? They do, they do, that's what they do. All right, so let's see. I'm going to use this other little brush that I got from them. And it shows you on the back of the box, like what the brushes are for. But I didn't look. But it does show you, you know, this brush is for this and stuff like that. And then I'm going to use this dark brown underneath there. I'm going to use that underneath my lash line.
Well, got a little too much on that time. And if you guys have seen the video this long, that far, I thank you for still being here because this is long. Of course, a lot of this is going to be fast forwarded, but it's long. Okay, you know what, guys? I'm going to go, like, put some colors on and do my eyelashes with that mascara. I'll let you know how it is. I'll throw some of this bronzer on, the highlighter, blush, and all that, and then I'll come back. Okay, I'm going to go do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, my lovelies, I am back. What I did was under here, I went in and I put this brown like I was showing you that I did. And I also put in, I put in this color like a little bit, but I used this color and I did put a tiny bit of the green. So you can see like very lightly where I put that green in and that color there and I kind of just brought it up. Um, and I did use this um, eyeliner that Allie had sent me. It's... Um, called easy on the eyes and it's this right here and it went on really nice i usually don't like this kind of tip um because more of like a smudging kind of tip but it actually went on really nice and it actually stayed on after i curled my eyelashes too and i used my um my heated eyelash color but then i also used this other one that i've been using that you use um after you put mascara on you just it heats, it heats up it has like 65 75 85 and 95 and I use the 85 and you just kind of put it on like this but it does take some of your mascara off but it actually will curl your eyelashes I like it I like it a lot so I use that um, as far as the mascara the mascara worked on this eye because I have more lashes on this lashes on this eye but it didn't work on this eye and the reason I think is is because the the the, the brush is all one type of brush there's no way to get in like the little lashes that, that I have like growing up in here and there's no tip on the end so you can't like tip it in compared to my by Terry which I just got mascara all over my hand I'm just having a time today with paint tail that's why this video is taking so freaking off okay my by Terry which I'm hoping I can go on and put it on top of this we'll see but my by Terry has um, if you've seen me use this before, you know that it has the option of, let me get some of this gump off here, but it has, you know, it has the tip on the end, but it has two different ones. It has this, this one, and then you twist it, and it goes to another. So I can do the length first, which is what I do. And thank God it's going to, sometimes you can't mix brands because you have really bad flakage, and then you twist it. And it goes down to the different bristles that can get into the smaller lashes. Let me make sure I can get in these smaller lashes. Sometimes once you put on another brand, it's hard to pop on a second brand without it plumping really bad. So we'll see. But I tried the other, you know, the other brand and I wiggled and twisted and turned and everything with that, that, um, wand I could do and I just could not get these teeny tiny lashes that I've got growing in and let me tell you that grande lash that I've been using <gasps> I've got some lashes growing guys that I didn't think would ever grow again and I'll show you when I'm done putting this on if I can get this to work over top of that other like I said it may not because I already have mascara that kind of push those lashes down I should have probably shown you my lashes before I'll put mascara on because they were really starting to grow. You can even see them on this side how they've grown. But if you guys have been here long enough, you would know that my liver got my lashes back from chemo in this one spot. And I found pictures on my phone the other day of when I lost my lashes from chemo in this one spot. That's where the first spot I lost my lashes from. So here we are, a couple years after chemo's done, and I've never gone back in that spot. So you guys out there that's gone through chemo before, and I know there's a few of you. Did that happen to you too? Did you like lose lashes in spots and then never got them back? And I just ordered, um, Grande Lash has a, a lash, um, conditioning. 
stuff that you put on your lashes. I just ordered some of that, so I'm kind of going to hope that it'll help with these lashes that are coming back in. Help soften them up some. And I just do this to kind of hold the, the lashes up because the little ones are kind of tiny, so they stick out. Okay, look at this. Okay. If you've seen my lashes before, you've seen. But can you see where they've grown back in? And look how long these are on this outer corner. I mean, they're like touching up there. So if you guys have seen me, you would know I didn't have lashes here. Like a month ago, I had no lashes there. There was like maybe, what, a couple, maybe? So thanks to Melissa out there who told me to get the Grande Lash. I have lashes again. Yes. Anyway, my lips, I did use, I did use these. I really like them a lot. The color is gorgeous. I did put a tiny bit of this on. And I took a wet wipe and tried to wipe that pink off. And I think it's part of the actual tip. I don't think it's actually a color because I couldn't get it off. So it just could be that. I did not use this, but I do want to swatch it in front of you guys just to see what color. Oh, it's a pretty color. Very pretty color. I think I'm going to like that. And I did use um, everything else Samantha March. I used, of course, you know, you knew I was going to use these. So obviously you can see that. And I'm going to add a little bit more while I got you on here so you can see how it actually goes on. Because I just put a little bit of one, but I wanted to put more on with you guys. And I swirled it and I pay more attention to that pink when I go on here. But you can see, bam. Bam. Bam, 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 bam. I mean, it's just stunning. I just love this. This is going to be like in my purse all the time because I just love it. Because even when I use um, this other one here, I don't particularly go for um, the other color a whole lot, except like maybe like on my up here, I use the white. Um, I'm, I used to be more of a white highlighter person, but now I just seem to gravitate you know, even back and forth, but I do pick this palette up a lot, like a lot. And then I used, um, there's a lot of kick up, if you noticed in the pan on this, um, but I did use it and it's really pretty. So I liked it. The bronzer, as far as the bronzer, okay. So, I used the shimmer part of the bronzer up here, because usually I put highlighter up there. So I did use the shimmer part like on the sides, and then I used the regular everywhere else, and I did use it for my contouring, um, like underneath here as well. I'm just not good with bronzers. If you've seen me, you know I'm just not good with bronzers. I never used bronzers until a few months ago, because I didn't know what the hell to do with them. I'm just not good with them, so that they're not good with me. Um, I'm not too sure about the way that the... The shimmer part goes. I'm not sure if I'm, I'm using it right. Maybe once it gets more sunnier out, I can figure out how to use them. But I did like it. I think it looks really pretty. It matches my cohesiveness of everything, you know, that I got going on here. It looks good. I have not put any of my um, setting spray on yet, so I am going to do that. I forgot. I'm using my Tarte again, and I did buy a full size one because I did like the way that it worked. Um, but yeah, I totally forgot to use it. So I am going to do that because I forgot. Um, but I like the way everything played, like the way everything went together. The palette's not bad. I mean, you know, it, it sat down by the time I, I finished everything else, it, you know, it, it made it look really pretty. Um, like I said, I won't be going out and saying, oh, Winky Lux has a new, has a new palette out. I got to go jump on that right now. And they don't have a whole lot. Um, so it's just a matter of me jumping on the website and checking things out every once in a while, but I think it's really pretty. Like I said, I won't be using that press glitter. I think I might need to, to get some glitter glue and try some glitters out though, because yeah, I probably do need to do that because I haven't done that. You know, I have to something I haven't tried. I'm just an old lady that needs to try new things. So that being said, guys, um, thank you for coming and, and for being here. I know this wasn't a very exciting video. I haven't just, I haven't felt it. I just need to get on here and do this because I just need it to, to feel better. And when I get on here and talk to you guys and, and do this, it does make me feel better. No lipstick on the teeth. Good. And I did get my teeth whitening in. And I got a toothbrush, guys, from um, Smell Brilliant. 
I got their, their teeth whitening kit and I got their toothbrush. I love their freaking toothbrush. Let me just tell you, I do. I love their toothbrush. You guys need to go check them out. Um, anyway, that's neither here. There has nothing to do with what I'm doing here. Um, I do like the powder so far. It seems to be okay. Um, I'm not too sure about this. Um, what do you call it? Um, concealer, where, whatever I did with it. Oh, there it is. It says now increasing, but let me just tell you. When you're almost 52 years old, you're going to have freaking creasing. Unless you go and have fillers put in, you're going to have creasing. I don't care what they say. So, that's, you know, that's just what I'm going to have. Nothing I can do about that. I really don't think so. But, you know, it did hold up pretty good everywhere else. Um, the color was right. I don't have a problem with that. So, it did do the highlighting color the way it was supposed to. Um, but the powder seems like it's really nice. It's not, like, you know, not drying me out at all. So that part I liked. I didn't over powder my face. I just put it mainly through here and like right here in that one little spot that I had to try to fix. Um, so I didn't like over powder my face. I did put a little bit of powder over top of the blush when I put it on because it was a little dark when I f first put it on. So I did kind of powder over it a tiny bit. But so I didn't ever powder. Um, but overall, I like everything that I tried today. Um, Ofer, like I said, is, is my favorite highlighter. So... Um, you know, my Jeffree Star highlighters obviously are, you know, are good. My Platinum Ice is my favorite highlighter in the Jeffree Star line. But my Ofra is my favorite. My, my Pillow Talk is my favorite highlighter of all times. And I do have some other brands coming. I just haven't gotten here yet. They're taking forever to get here because of everything going on. But I do have some other things that I'll be sharing with you as I get them. Um, but I haven't ordered anything, like, recently. Just things I'm just waiting to come in. And I do have my Battle of the Boxes coming up later this week. So hopefully, if I can get out of this funk, I'll get that, that coming to you. So look for those videos. Again, I'm sorry for the length of this video. I'm going to try to cut some things out as I go. Um, you guys, just, just take care of yourself and be good to yourself and to each other. You guys need to take care of yourself. Because if you can't take care of yourself, then you're not going to be able to take care of each other. So, that being said, thank you again for joining me. And for putting up with me. And listening to me complain because I've done a lot of that today and I apologize. You guys mean a lot to me and I want you to stick around and, and be here for me because you being here and helping me through this means that I can be here for you and give back to you more. Don't forget to go check that giveaway out that I got ending. And I have um I have some surprises in store for you in the next couple of weeks. So yeah, look for those because I might have some other boxes filled with some things that I don't need anymore. Yeah, let's just say that. Anyway guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll know when I come back on again because I'm hoping that I can get out this funk and get some more videos up for you guys this week. I'm hoping to at least do four, but don't hold me to it because I don't know. I don't know how my moods are going to be and I don't know how I'm going to feel. Like I said, this, this funk is kind of stuck around, but I'm hoping that doing this will help me. We'll see. Hopefully. Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. We'll see. Hopefully. We'll see. Anyway, you guys go have a good one. And hopefully, I said hopefully way too many freaking times. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'll see you in the next one. You guys take care. Bye.